Fillets, and in this video, we're going to demonstrate the new fillet tool provided by One CNC XR3. Now, what we're going to try to do here is create a fillet between all three of these circles. Now, before we do this, let's take a look at an older version of One CNC. In fact, we're going to load One CNC XR2. Here's exactly the same part file with the same three circles. So, to create a fillet, we make sure we select Arc, and then we select Fillet. Now, in One CNC XR2, we had to remember that all arcs and circles are created counterclockwise. So if I wanted to create this fillet right along the top here, I'd have to remember to select this arc first and then this arc second. What happens if I made a mistake? I'm going to select this arc first and then this arc. We're going to specify our radius of 2 inches and click OK. And you can see the fillet's on the wrong side. So now I'd have to come back and remember arcs are created counterclockwise, so I'd select here and then here. Make sure we've got the radius in there and click OK. So you can see that it's definitely possible with an XR2 to create fillets, but we always had to remember the order in which we selected our geometry and also the side in which we selected our geometry as well. Now, one CNC XR3 has vastly improved on this. Let's take a look. We're going to go back to XR3 now. Here's the same three circles. We're going to go back into our arc tool. We're going to select fillet. And I'm just going to, in fact, I'm going to select the wrong circle first. I'm going to grab this guy first. And then I'm even going to grab this on the wrong side. We're going to specify our fillet. Click OK. And look what happens now. One CNC XR3 gives you instant visual feedback. You just move your cursor to where you'd like to place the fillet and then left click. As soon as you do that, you can move on to our next group of fillets. Let's grab those two. That's the same radius that I want. Just move the cursor where I want it and left click. You can see that this, by far, is a lot faster method to create fillets. The visual feedback is very nice, and you're going to find that creating fillets between circles within XR3 is very, very fast and efficient. Thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.